Good morning, it's Mary Ellen from the channel Mary Ellen After 60. And I'm here to do to <laughs> and I'm here today to talk about a few things. The first thing I wanted to mention was regarding moisturizers. I had talked about that I don't use moisturizers in a previous video, but when I started doing Retin-A, which was two years ago, it was August 2015, I bought some, I believe it's squalane or squalene oil from Timeless, and I used about that much, just a tiny bit. And how, what I used it for, if I had a really dry, angry patch, I would just dab it on. I believe the shelf life, I believe the shelf life was two years, but now that I've dropped it, it may be broken. Let me look. No, it's still in good condition. It didn't break. I do use Eucerin on my heels, and I do use an oil on my cuticles, but that is the only moisture that I put in my body. So I wanted to address that. I also wanted to mention to Lita, L-E-T-A, and Marion, H, M-A-R-I-A-N, that I cannot reply to you. I'm going to link a video below that my good friend Mary Glitzy Fritzy did just to check and see if your settings are right because I have tried to reply and I don't want you to think I am ignoring you. I reply to every single comment, so if you sent me a, com a, a comment and you haven't heard from me, there's something wrong probably with your settings. So I just wanted to mention that. I first saw this product demonstrated by, I believe it was Michelle from Kansas Girl 1969. Any channel that I mention are people that I watch and people that I enjoy. And I'm gonna link every channel below. I watched, I saw her do it first. Then second was Christine Richard. And third was Anne from the channel Beauty by Anne Marie. Well, she had a link to the, to the product, and it had been advertised everywhere for $25, and I thought, oh, I don't think I want to spend $25. But when I clicked on her link, it was like $8.99 from overstock.com. So I ordered it. It came in a box like this, and in it was a sealed envelope. And you took it out, and there was, this is what it looked like. There were two of them. And you put it on your feet and you tape them. And then you put socks over them. And you have to be still for an hour. And that was the hardest part. I did it five days ago. And as of yet, I haven't peeled. But I have been, every time I take a bath, I use a pumice stone on my feet. So my feet were in pretty good shape. But I'll let you know if they peel. But I, I won't show you the pictures. But I was happy I tried this. Uh, it, it, it felt pretty good. It really did. I liked it. So thank you to those three ladies for mentioning this. And I also wanted to mention several people have asked me what I'm using on my neck. I will tell you it was something that uh, Natalie the Beauty Diva mentioned in one of her videos some time ago. And I wanted to give it a try. And I think it'll probably be about six weeks before I can talk about it. So I will update you on that. Thank you so much for your comments on my editing. You know, all I use, I don't have a camera. All I use is a camcorder. And now, since I've had my MacBook for 11 months, I can go in and retrieve. I've kept everything on an external hard drive and I can bring in videos and put in clips. So that's pretty exciting for me. Anytime I do something like that, or even put in a picture in a picture, I get excited because these are all new things for me to do. I mean, I, I, I love it. I am pretty excited about something that I've done recently. I did the DNA uh, from Ancestry.com. And because of that, at some point, I may be taking a break because I want to see, find all my relatives. I might be related to some of you out there. My mother's side of the family was from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And there is just a wealth of information on Ancestry.com. Anybody that lived in that area, I believe it was the first inland city in the United States. I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I've been wanting to do that for a long time. I believe it was $99 and I splurged and I did it. And today it's a beautiful day in Southern Illinois. It's just like jacket weather. So t today what I did, I tried my best to do a 
drugstore priced look of the day. And if you're interested, just keep on watching. Uh, the eyeshadow I used was really one of my very favorites, and I've had it for a long time. It's from Physicians Formula, and it is the Quartz, the Quartz Quartet, I believe. And I put this color all over my eyes, this color right here above the crease in what they call the transition line, and the darker color I used on probably the outer third of my eyes. And then I just blended it and just kind of swept it up. I did use my Jessie's Girl Automatic Eyeliner that's still my favorite. It has a brush. You can buy it at Rite Aid. I know Marge told me Jet.com also has it. So thank you Marge for that information. And I've ordered mine from Amazon and also from the Jessie's Girl website. I think they're around $6.99, $7.99, something like that. But I really like it. Now this I can consider drugstore price because they still have the IT Hero Mascara on sale at QVC and I think it's two of them for $26 and I think normally they're $24 a piece so I have that on my lashes. I forgot when I did my lipstick I wanted to use the Melted. I wanted this color and it's the Hard Candy so that's not drugstore priced. This Too Faced Melted shows up more coral on the camera that it does in person but there's the color of it right there but since I forgot to uh, use drugstore I did put some of this NYX lip gloss over it and I really like it and I, I just like a little it's just really a sheer wash of color but I, I like the look of lip gloss I, since I only use the CC plus cream that's the foundation I have on but I did use the T Rose blush from Milani and my NYX Tame and Frame Pomade on the outer part of my eyebrows. And I used it with my Trish McAvoy, which I called Laura Mercier in one video, but I just put it in that way. So that is my drugstore look of the day. If you hung in with me this long, I want to thank you. It is all good. It's a beautiful day, and I hope it's pretty in your neighborhood, too. So thank you so much for watching, and I really appreciate it.